My name's Kevin Steed. Subscribe to Hill Steven on YouTube.com or I'll come to your house and ruin your life. Alright, this will be your TNA Impact review for December the 12th, 2013. Overall, the show is an actually good show. Opened up with Jeremy Borash in the ring. He has a desk with four briefcases to announce that the main event tonight will be Feast or Fired. He also had on the side the Wheel of Dixie. He was going to spin the wheel to see what was going to be the main event for final resolution, the final match in the tournament between Magnus and Jeff Hardy. But before he does anything, Kurt Angle comes out and he calls out Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode comes out, they're in the ring, talk about one another. Kurt Angle says to Bobby Roode that, you know what, I am so confident that I can beat you, that I can beat you twice in one night. They start brawling, security comes out, CNA personnel from the back come out as well. Bobby Roode ends up low-blowing Kurt Angle. Then he tells him, alright, Kurt, you can beat me twice in a night, how about this, next week, final resolution, me and you in a 2 out of 3 falls. That's going to be a good match to watch next week, I'm looking forward to that. Then we get into the first match of the night, we have the Bad Influence versus Eric Young and Joseph Park in a tag team match. A short match, literally the whole highlight of this match was having Eric Young punching Joseph Park to make him bleed to go crazy and finish off the bad influence for the 1-2-3. After the match, Eric Young tells Joseph Park, like, you know what, all this time you've been searching for Abyss, but the reality is you are Abyss. And Joseph Park's like, no, I'm not, I'm not Abyss, and they go in a commercial. We come back, and we get these videos of Rockstar Spud driving through Gainesville, Georgia, trying to find AJ Styles so he can bring back the TNA World title. He goes to a gas station, and then he goes to a bar, so singing at a bar. Then he goes into AJ Styles' house, he walks in, grabs the belt, AJ catches him and scares him away. Then we get Gail Kim and Lady Tapa in the ring, and they're issuing their open challenge. ODB comes out. In a nutshell, she attacks Lady Tapa. Their brawl, whatever. Gail Kim comes out and attacks ODB. A two-on-one attack, which causes Madison Rain to return to help out ODB. Next week, we're going to see as well a tag team match. ODB and Madison Rain versus Gail Kim and Lady Tapa. And then we get the world title final face-off. Magnus and Jeff Hardy with Dixie Carter. They talk about who's going to win, what they're feeling, and all that. Then Dixie Carter busts out the stipulation, which will be a Dixieland match. Literally, they're going to start off in the cage, have to climb out to then fight on the stage, climb a ladder to retrieve the title. Pretty much, in other words, it's like an obstacle course, you know. I'm looking forward to see how it's going to look out. I kind of find it funny on paper, but let's see how it goes. And then we get Austin Ari versus Chris Sabin in an exhibition title match, which was a good match too. Short, but it was good. Ended up with Aries getting the win, which I'm happy about. Now let's see where they go with this. Then we get into the main event of the evening, the Feast or Fire match, which, you know, was some good spots here. High action, the crowd was into it as well. EC3 got the first briefcase, which followed by Zima Ion, was then followed by Chavo Guerrero. And at the end of the match, James Storm about to grab the briefcase, which caused Gunner to attack him. And Gunner got the case. We can say that we're getting a Gunner heel turn. Looking forward to seeing it. Honestly, if you ask me right now, who's going to get fired? In my opinion, I can easily say right now that Zima Ion might end up getting fired. Due to his you know, injury that he had before and TNA didn't want to pay the bill and all that heat, whatever. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe EC3 might get the world title match. Or who knows? What's your thoughts on Impact overall? Your thoughts on the Feast or Fired? Who's getting fired? Who's getting the world title match? Who's getting the X Division title match? Who's getting the tag team title match? Drop your comments down below. No one's wrong. Like this video. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. And vote for me for almost underrated channel of 2013 for the YWC Slammy Awards. Don't forget, guys. Live Gut Check Podcast on Google Hangouts tomorrow, 8 p.m. Myself, non legit Wrestling, and Eric will be discussing a lot of things. And yeah, can't wait to see you guys there. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace.